This is video 11 on the grade 12, 12 chapter work energy and power and in this video we're looking at the concept of efficiency, the efficiency of a motor or an engine. So let's suppose we've got an electric motor that's rated at 90 kilowatts so that motor can do 90,000 joules of work every second. So the input energy by this electric motor would be 90,000 joules every one second. So in one second the motor can provide 90,000 joules of energy. And we install this motor because we want to, for example, lift. We want the motor to do work and we want to lift it, uh, get the motor to lift possibly concrete slabs through some kind of height H in some time delta T. So I'll say that again, that the, the input energy into the system in, in one second that this motor could provide 90,000 joules of energy. But we know in reality that not all of that 90,000 joules of work will go to useful work done. In fact, through the moving parts of the motor, there's going to be a lot of friction and we're going to lose energy. Let's suppose we lost 20,000 joules of energy while it was doing work in the one second and that energy would be dissipated as thermal energy. There will be a lot of heat energy dissipated through friction. So not all of the 90,000 joules is going to useful work done. Some of it, a fraction of it, is going to be dissipated as thermal energy. The rest of it would go to useful work done. So the output energy in this one second would be the rest of the energy and that would be 70,000 joules of work, useful work being done in one second. And that would go to changing the mechanical energy of this object we'd be increasing, we would have increased its potential energy, its gravitational potential energy. So let's just go over that. We've In one second, we've got a certain amount of energy that's being provided to the system. And some of that would be dissipated as heat energy. And the rest would go to doing some useful work, like lifting the mass through some height H. So, the output power would be 70,000 joules per second, 70 kilowatts, whereas the power loss would be 20 kilowatts. So in one second, 20,000 joules of energy is lost. So, we can then go to working out the efficiency of this motor. And percentage efficiency is a ratio. It's a ratio of the output power, that would be the useful work being done per second. And the useful work being done would be a change in mechanical energy. The input power would be the total power supplied by the motor. So in this case it would be our 90,000 kilowatts. That's what's being provided or entering the system, so 90,000 joules of energy are entering the system per second, but the output power is just 70,000 joules per second. So if we're working out the percentage efficiency, we look at this ratio of output power to input power, and then we multiply by 100, and we know the output power to be 70 kilowatts. That's going to be the useful work being done per second and the input power would be with the power rating of the motor. So that's what it can supply and that's what it converts to useful energy per second. Multiplied by 100 and that gives us an efficiency of 77.8%. So no motors are 100% efficient because energy is being lost through friction to thermal energy 
and there's going to be a power loss while this motor is doing work. So let's go and look at an example and our example is on page 56 of our notes so let's go there it's question 3 and if we highlight a few things here we see that we've got a 30 kilowatt motor so that would be the input power and this motor is connected to a crane that lifts blocks of a thousand kilograms through a vertical height of 10 meters in a time of five seconds so what we are after here is the efficiency of the motor the percentage efficiency of the motor when it's working at full power so it's working at full power when its input power is 30 kilowatts so i want you to pause the video and attempt that question So here we are, we've got this motor that's rated at 30 kilowatts when it's working at full power. And it's going to be used to raise a thousand kilogram block through a vertical height of 10 meters in five seconds. So the percentage efficiency of the motion motor, then we need to find a few things. And as we've recognized that that's the input power, 30,000 kilowatts, but we need to find the output power. So how much useful work is it doing per second? And remember we said that useful work would be a change in mechanical energy. So in this case we've got a change in potential energy. There might be a small change in kinetic energy but that's going to be small in comparison to the change in potential energy. So to calculate the useful work done we need to work out the change in potential energy of this block and it's going to be MGH at the top and that's how much potential energy it's going to possess at the top it's got a mass of a thousand kilograms G is 9.8 and the vertical height that we need to move this block through is 10 meters so if we put that into the calculator, we're going to get an answer of 98,000 joules. So that's how much work useful work was done. It was a change in uh, mechanical energy, in this case a change in potential energy, and 90,000 joules of work was done. So let's calculate now the output power of this motor and the output power would be the change in potential energy 98,000 joules divided by the time that it's doing this work in and the time was 5 seconds so if we divide that by 5 we get an a power output of 19,600 watts and you'll notice that that doesn't equal the input power input the power was 30,000 watts whereas the output power doing useful work per second is 19,600 watts so then it's one final step to find the percentage efficiency of this motor the output power being 19,600 watts and we're going to divide that by the total input power when this uh, motor is working at full power it can supply 30,000 watts and we're going to multiply that by 100 and we get an answer of 65 0.33% so it's certainly not 100% efficient it's only 65.3% efficient because a lot of energy was being dissipated per second through friction and that would result in a power loss